The next step in building our form would be the mannequin form. To recap, we start with our action line that basically captures the pose as energy. We build on that action line following it with a stick form, a skeletal frame, and from here we're going to build the mannequin form. The mannequin form is kind of like those wooden art puppets that you see in art stores. Although, to be advised, those wooden art puppets, whereas they have their value, not really good for cartooning in terms of a true proportionate or fully posable representation of the human form. I tend to stay away from them myself. Simplifying the form that you're going to draw into basic geometric shapes helps you start planning out perspective, proportion of the anatomy you're eventually going to render in. We use very simple geometric shapes in the mannequin form because they become representational of the muscle mass that's underneath. That's why this is sometimes referred to as the skeletal form and the mannequin form is representational of the muscle mass before you finish rendering in the details. We use simplified geometric shapes. We tend to use circles or spheres for joints and cylinders for the muscle masses. It's important to note that we tend to use those cylinders but they tend to be tapered. Again, they're representational of muscle masses before you start drawing in the details of the muscles. So you'll see for a forearm, it may start off wide as it's closer to the elbow joint and taper down smaller to the wrist because the wrist is thinner than it is up at your elbow. The same thing for the thighs and for the calves. So that truly the mannequin form is built on top of the skeletal form in simple geometric shapes that are both proportionate and in some cases in perspective of the final form you're trying to render.